Psalm 29, verse 11. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Isaiah 26, verse 12. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all our works in us. Psalm 4, verse 8. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. John 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 16. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. Colossians 3, verse 15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Isaiah 26, verse 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Exodus 14, verse 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Mark 4 verse 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Romans 16 verse 20 And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. 1 Samuel 25 verse 6 And thus shall ye say unto him that liveth in prosperity, Peace be both to thee, and peace be to thine house and peace be unto all that thou hast. Job 22, verse 21 to 22. Acquaint now thyself with him, and be at peace, thereby good shall come unto thee. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in thine heart. Proverbs 12, verse 20. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. James 3 verse 18, And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Psalm 55 verse 18, He hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me for there were many with me. 
Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Romans 15 verse 13 Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Jeremiah 33, verse 6 Nevertheless, the time will come when I will heal their wounds and give it prosperity and true peace. 2 Corinthians 13, verse 11 Dear brothers and sisters, I close my letter with these last words. Be joyful, grow to maturity, encourage each other, live in harmony and peace. Then the God of love and peace will be with you. 1 Samuel 1 verse 17. Then Eli answered and said, go in peace and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. Isaiah 53 verse 5 But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. 1 Peter 3 verse 11 let him eschew evil and do good let him seek peace and ensue it matthew 5 verse 9 blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of god psalm 37 verse 37 mark the perfect man and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life.
Matthew 7 verse 7 Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Psalm 94 verse 17 to 18 Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord, held me up. Psalm 34, verse 17 The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Hebrews 12, verse 14 Follow peace with all men, and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Luke 2 verse 14 Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. John 20 verse 19 to 23 And the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus, and stood in the midst, and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then Jesus said to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them, and saith unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sins, ye remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins, ye retain, they are retained. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the works of the Lord. What desolation he hath made in the earth. He maketh war to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow, and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Isaiah 54 verse 10 For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from thee, Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord, that hath mercy on thee. John 16, verse 33. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Numbers 6 verse 26 The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Isaiah 32 verse 17 
and the work of righteousness shall be peace and the effect of righteousness quietness and assurance forever Romans 5 verse 1 therefore since we have been made right in God's sight by faith we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us Galatians 5 verse 22 but the fruit of the Spirit is love joy peace long-suffering gentleness goodness faith Luke 1 verse 78 to 79 through the tender mercy of our God whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace Psalm 139 O Lord thou hast searched me and known me thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising thou understandest my thought afar off thou compasseth my path and my lying down and art acquainted with my ways for there is not a word in my tongue but lo O Lord thou knowest it all together thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me such knowledge is too wonderful for me it is high I cannot attain unto it whither shall I go from thy spirit or whither shall I flee from thy presence if I ascend up into heaven thou art there if I make my bed in hell behold thou art there if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me if I say surely the darkness shall cover me even the night shall be light about me yea the darkness hideth not from thee but the night shineth as the day the darkness and the light are both alike to thee for thou hast possessed my reins thou hast covered me in my mother's womb I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right well my substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth thine eyes did not see my substance yet being unperfect and in thy book all my members were written which in continuance were fashioned when as yet there was none of them how precious also are thy thoughts unto me O God how great is the sum of them Isaiah 55 verse 12 for ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you in singing and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands Proverbs 16 verse 7 when a man's ways please the Lord he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him Isaiah 54 verse 13 and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of thy children Romans 14 verse 19 let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another Psalm 85 verse 8 I will hear what God the Lord will speak for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints 
but let them not turn again to folly. Isaiah 32 verse 18 And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation, and in sure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. Romans 12 verse 17 to 18 Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much lieth in you. Live peaceably with all men. Psalm 55 verse 22 Cast thy burden upon the Lord, for he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. John 14 verse 1 to 18 Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also, and whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believeth thou not that I am the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 9 verse 6 For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. 
Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.